All right, my friends, how are you today? Fantastic, I'm sure. Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for the 13th of January, 2020. All right, we had a very, very powerful weekend, a once-in-a-lifetime conjunction happening between Saturn and Pluto, all right? Put out two videos about that thing. It's uh, pretty powerful. Um, now, today, we've got the moon moving from Leo into the sign of Virgo, okay? So we're taking that Leo energy, that leadership energy, the fire of the sun, the sun that keeps on burning, right? Never dimming its light for anyone. We're taking that fire, that emotional strength, our emotional moon, okay? And we're passing it along to the sign of Virgo, okay? How are we giving back to other people? What is our work? You know, what are we doing? How are we, how are we helping uh, be of service, right? Who are we saying yes to? Yes, I'm willing to help you out. Now we have uh, the moon here. This is about 8 a.m. when some of us are getting up and getting ready to go to work. Some of us are already at work. Making this opposition here to Venus in the last degrees of Aquarius. Okay, Just before she moves into Pisces where she's going to be exalted until mid-February. All right, so what is this all about? You know, our emotions, what we need to do over here on one end is, you know, stand up and be a leader. This is about being the star of the show, baby. You know, this is, a, this is hey, every, every director needs the star of the show, okay? So the emotional moons are saying, I want to take, I want to, I want to, you know, be front and center here. And the, across the way, Venus is saying, well, what I want and desire is something greater than the immediate gratification of being on center stage. Yeah. So Venus here, again, everything we want, love, and desire in life, in the last degree of Aquarius, Aquarius being the very futuristic driven sign, okay? Again, this is the conductor. This is the director. You know, this is the star. This is the individual right so it's saying hey i see a greater vision for this future right so we need to move it ahead a couple hours here we need to do work and provide services for other people it's not just about us it's not just about our emotions it's not just about how we feel right it's what we're doing for others it's how we're applying that strength it's about applying what our vision is our deepest desires of vision and how we're bringing that into creative life energy earth sign virgo okay now the moon's going to start to square jupiter uh square jupiter <laughs> mars here in sagittarius and mars is doing what mars is the driving force of the the zodiac is saying look i gotta learn a lot of new information here i gotta learn a lot of new information and we have to be able to balance out how we're emotionally giving to other people as well as creating this, you know, faith and sustainable energy for ourselves, okay? Same, we got it, you know, that odd quincunx happening down here to the North Node. You know, sometimes, uh, you know, we can feel a bit of this martyr aspect. I've done this, you know, I, I've done this for you and this for you and this for you. And, you know, this energy is saying, yeah, we did these things. You did them with a driving force because this is the direction you wanted to go. And this is what you wanted to do. And that's what you needed to do at the time. But don't hold it against me right now for doing what you felt you wanted to do. And maybe I don't want to reciprocate. Okay? That's, that's, that's strong energy right there. We have this septile happening between Neptune and Saturn. Okay, going to be going on for a while. Talked about that in a great depth. Okay, this is this is Saturn, the king of our reality, and Neptune, the dreams, the unconscious mind, uh, rule of spirituality, the oneness, the oneness, and the individual, fate coming together. Okay, in a transformational aspect. So we've got Saturn and the Sun conjunct today. Okay. The sun is the hero of our story. Sun ruling Leo. The sun, the hero of our story. The fire that keeps burning bright. Okay, we, The heart keeps beating. We don't have to think about it. The heart just keeps on beating. Okay, And this is telling us that we have the strength no matter what to continue to move forward. We have the strength as an individual to bring our dreams 
into reality, right? The ruler of reality, the ruler of this third dimension, our physical form. So what we don't see, what we can't see, bringing it, and making it real, okay? Very, very important. And having that strong sense of a vision of the future and not making it about ourselves, right? Not just making it about ourselves. Really, really important. And as well, as a couple hours, let's move forward just a little bit more. Right? We've got this beautiful trine from earth sign to earth sign. Trines are easy flow of energy. Okay? Between the moon, emotional need to give, emotional need to, to help others, right? To be of service. And Uranus, breaking the way, breaking the ground of tradition. So there's something that we need you know, something that we need to do, something that we need to provide that's going to help others break free from this tradition. And if that's partially being our own individual, starting to get that shrine up there to Jupiter, right? It's very faint and it's going to come into a little bit thicker of a line as the day continues. So as you see here, there's this almost, but not quite, you know, this kite formation, okay? So we have this sextile, Okay, sextiles are just easy flow of energy, just like just just like a trine. Okay, where this is earth to earth, the sextile is easy flow of energy between water and earth, or fire and fire. Okay, so this now Venus moving into Pisces is exalted. Okay, her favorite place to be in the in the entire zodiac. Why? Because she's not restricted. Okay, you can love as deep as you want to love. You can feel as much as you want to feel. You can dream and you can imagine, right? So there's nothing holding that back. So it's a very sweet place for Venus to be. So Venus having the sextile, that creative flow energy down to Uranus in Taurus is just like, look, I feel that we need a, I feel like we need a playground here instead of this mound of dirt, you know? And then that moon energy is like, no, we, we do need a playground here. That's my service to others. We need a playground here for the kids, for people to walk their dogs, for, you know, for us to go and hang and socialize and, and connect with nature. Okay. So it's this transformational energy, all that Capricorn stuff, government stuff that's going on. And it's looking at a mound of dirt, looking at a patch of dirt and saying, what could that be? Let's do that. I, I'm imagining it to being this beautiful place where children are playing and laughing, having a good time. And, you know, a couple is walking, holding hand in hand, and somebody is running with their dog or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like transforming that, you know, having the ability to break through of, of what is into something that's could be. Yeah. So powerful, powerful energy. And again, that septile. All right. So you see that, that trine to Uranus, breakthrough, breakthrough, okay? Moon, emotional needs, trying to Jupiter, expansion, expansion, like we talked about over the weekend, you know? If you want a bigger cup, if you want to put more liquid, get a bigger cup, you know? If a bigger cup doesn't exist, let's create it. <laughs> you know, let's create this bigger cup. And then we have this septile energy happening from Jupiter over there to Venus, Another really powerful connection in the Venus sextile. So again, the difference between the sextile and the septile, where this is an easy flow of energy on one hand, okay? This is fate energy on the other, okay? So this is not quite the kite formation. It, it will continue as Venus moves forward to creating that, but the moon won't be there. Anyway, so again, we're, we're, we're talking about a difference between just an easy flow of creative energy to like a miracle, you know, I'm all about those miracles, baby. And those miracles are going to continue to happen between the, the, the sign of Neptune and Pisces with Venus moving through as well uh, with Neptune and Pisces to the sun, to Saturn, and to Pluto is going to be happening for another month and change, okay? And the septiles are going to continue to happen as Venus moves through and connects with Jupiter, then is going to connect with Pluto and Saturn just the same, okay? So this is fate train is taking off. Okay, we should be loving life right now. And if we're not loving life, these are beautiful signs to say, what do I need to change within my life? Because I have the power to change my life. I have the power to do something differently. I have the power to create the life that I want to live. Yeah. And to be a life of service. Feels good to give. <laughs>
<laughs> so I have an amazing start of the week. It's just going to keep getting better and better from here. I promise you that. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow.